Acclaimed cellist Christina Rako Cooper is sharing her music around the globe with her new CD, Around the World with Love. She is here to tell us all about it and to perform. Ms. Cooper, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. So now, when did you know that the cello was going to be your voice to express your art and passion? From a pretty young age, actually. I wanted to start on the cello, but, you know, the cello is a big instrument. Yes. So I started on piano, and I played a little bit of violin. And as soon as my teacher, my first cello teacher, let me start at age 10, that's okay. when I began the cello. You weren't intimidated at all, you know, given that it was, it's a, that's a, not a light instrument, Christina. <laughs> I know, you have to have a plane seat for it, always, too. Did you know that? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it even has its own, like, frequent flyer miles, so. <laughs> when did you know that you connected with it, you know, because when you see cellists and, and violinists, you all, your eyes are closed, <laughs> and you're, like, in another place. Is that true, how we, when we see those images? I guess that's true. I, for me, the cello is the closest instrument to the human voice, and I thought there was something very beautiful beautiful about that always and I just love the timbre and the sound of the cello I always adored the sound of the cello and when I first heard the instrument when I was young I knew that was the instrument for me now, also me it's a comfortable instrument to play you know if you play the violin you're like all twisted up right. and you know, all those high sounds you know beginning violin sounds are not pleasant okay <laughs> so but the cello was always a very comfortable and uh, beautiful sounding instrument to now me. the CD is called around the world with love tell us about it so my CD is basically a collection of love songs from all over the world, all kinds of different cultures, okay. and I've had them transcribed for the cello, and most of them are with piano and percussion, and some of them are just with piano. Is it all, no vocals at all? It's just all instrumental? Um, the cello is the vocal. Cello, cello is the vocal, okay. <laughs> and all, you're, um, the inspiration behind it, you know, you could have gone in any direction, but you chose love. Why do you um, feel the need to do that? I wanted to make an album that was accessible to everyone and love songs or, you know, there's love songs in every culture, in every country, beautiful love songs. And uh, since I think the cello is such a vocal instrument, I thought it was the perfect pairing. Love songs from around the world with the vocal instrument that happens to be my cello. <laughs> Christina, you're going to perform for us. Tell us the song that you'll be doing. Uh, so I'll be uh, doing an arrangement of that great classic, I Could Have Danced All Night from My Fair Lady. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're going to say goodbye, but I need you to hold my hand and help me do something. Oh, you know, yes? Okay. Um, I want you to help me say goodbye <laughs> to our longtime director, Helene Edelman. She's retiring oh. after decades here, and we love Helene. Absolutely. Oh, we, wow. She's, she, I've worked with her for six and a half years, and she's never yelled at me once. And, <laughs> <laughs> and not so many others can say that she is a tough, stern, lovable director and one of the best in the business. So, Helene, from all of us here at Fox 5 and Street Talk, we just want to thank you. Enjoy your sunset. You can dance all night, if I may borrow Christina's Absolutely. song. Absolutely. <laughs> to learn more about today's topics, go to fox5ny.com. You can also like us on Facebook as well as follow us on Twitter. For all of us here at Fox 5, I'm Antoine Lewis. We'll see you next time for more Street Talk, but stick around because Christina will be performing next.